The design of the new cyborg was inspired by a vision of the future. A hyper-futuristic world and what a cybernetic organism might look like. We love the cyberpunk aesthetic and wanted to create a laptop that felt like a sci-fi prop. For this generation, the biggest change was moving the main transparent area from the bottom to the top. It's all about mimicking that exoskeleton look and really emphasizing the integration of humans and machines. The core idea behind Cyborg has always been about fusing biology and mechanics. The patterns and icons are extensions of the cyberpunk style. We use geometric and organic lines to make it seem futuristic, representing the connection between humans and machines. The icon is inspired by a heart design from one of our older models. We wanted to mimic a cybernetic heart organ. It's built from the letters C and Y, creating a heart shape. For the key R and transparent parts, we use a technique called in-mold decoration. Basically, it's an injection molding process where we put the printed film into the mold before we inject the plastic. That way, the decoration becomes part of the component itself, all in one go. Getting the plastic strong enough was a real challenge. We wanted it to be durable, but also transparent. We added glass fiber to the plastic to increase its strength, but that also made it harder to work with during manufacturing. It took a lot of tweaking to find the right balance between visual appeal and durability. I'm really proud of the transparency site. It felt like an ambitious idea at first, but we're so glad we went for it. Having this transparent plastic as the main visual element really enhances the experience of what we were trying to convey. From the initial concept phase to the final product, it took us around two years, but believe me, it was a good journey. 